Hey, Mike, uh, you know, you, just the way things shook out with the injuries, you guys couldn't have gone five wide if you'd have wanted to today. Uh, but the four wide receivers, uh, they all they all made some plays, and and you were under an awful lot of duress there uh, from the Colts. So uh, Laviska and, and Connolly, even Godwin got in there, made his first NFL catch, and and Keelan. You know, how did those guys play given the circumstances? Yeah, I thought they played great. And I think all year long we've known about the depth we've had at receiver. I mean, this is probably the deepest receiver group I've been a part of. You know, Terry showing up, he finally gets to do it on a Sunday, but he's been doing that all year on scout team. So it was great to kind of see him finally get out there and showcase what he can do. And, um, you know, I'm super proud of those guys to go, you know, as many times as we threw the ball only having four active receivers. I mean, they laid it all on the line. Um, and they all made plays, like you said. I mean, Chris stepped up big, but DJ being out. Um, you know, Keelan is always in the mix. LaVisca, two touchdowns, um, as you mentioned, Terry. So, uh, yeah, it was a, uh, a good defense, and I thought they, uh, they stepped up. Thank you. Let's go over to Cassidy and then Mia. Hey, Mike, uh, Visca in particular, I mean, you've seen a lot of NFL receivers in your day. What does the future look like for someone like him? Yeah, I think he's um, – if you can find a way to get the ball in his hands, good things are going to happen. I mean, he's one of, if not the strongest receiver I've – definitely I've been around and I can't even really remember seeing. I mean, he's like a running back when he gets the ball in his hands, but he can run receiver routes. So um, he's so hard to bring down. He's so strong. Um, I mean, he's like a man child out there. Um, so he's, uh, you know, the future is bright for this receiver group, with, obviously with DJ, with him. Um, I think some of the guys might be free agents, but Colin showed what he could do. Um, so we'll see, see who's back. But I think uh, Jags fans should feel good about their receiver group. All right. Thanks, Cassidy. Let's go over to Mia and then John Reed. Hey, Mike, I know we kind of asked you this last week, um, but now that the season is officially concluded, what is your biggest takeaway, having had so many head coaches in your career, um, of the performance that Doug Marone did this year, both on and off the field? Yeah, I think, you know, Doug's a great guy. He, he, he really does a good job. I mean, what they decide, I don't know. That's just how, how this business works. But, uh, you know, we all appreciate what he uh what he's done for us, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Mia. Let's go over to John Reed. Hey, Mike. Um, can you talk a little bit about just how difficult this season was with the COVID and playing in empty stadiums and all the things you guys had to go through this season? And this yeah. Last... I'll tell that? you what, it's going to feel good not to be wearing a mask everywhere I go and having to worry about you know, getting COVID, spreading it to teammates, everything that goes with it. So this mask, I can, uh, I will still wear in public. I can't wait to not be wearing it for half of my day around the building. Um, and that's, it's been a unique year. Um, you know, empty stadiums. I was talking to someone today about it. I'm like, when's the last time we played somewhere away game without fans? And I think it went all the way back to Houston. I think we only played two games this year away that had fans. Um, so hopefully, you know, next year there'll be fans back. Um, the atmosphere, you know, will feel more normal. But all in all, I think guys adjusted really well. I think the NFL did a great job. I mean, to go through every single game and not get one cancel is pretty impressive. So, but yeah, it's definitely a unique year with a lot of challenges. So you you trust in the vaccines and everything to get back to normal by next season? <laughs> we'll see. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into. Uh, well, if that's a political question or what, but I'm I'm not going <laughs> to go down there. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks, John. Unless there's any other questions that are going to sneak in, we'll let Mike go. All right. Looks like you're free. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.